big ceremony led by Todd Martin to welcome the new inductees for the International Tennis Hall of Fame class of 2019. You have Genny Kafelnikov, Mary Pierce, and the woman who won the title here in 2014 and launched a tennis revolution in her home country of China. That, of course, is Li Na. And we are very pleased to welcome Li Na back to TC Live. Congratulations on being elected to the Hall of Fame. Bravo. Thank you. Tell us uh, what your reaction was when you got the call and uh, what, what did Dennis say when you told him? He didn't, he didn't say anything. <laughs> as usual. <laughs> yeah, as usual. No yeah. congratulations, not a hug and a kiss, nothing? No, 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 no. What did you think when you got the call? Uh, I think it's a huge as an argument for my tennis career, yeah. And of course, I was proud of myself. Of course, uh, I can stay in the same room for uh, end of Noor, yeah, it's my. Let's go back to 2014 when you won the Australian Open. Obviously, everybody remembers that you beat Dominika Sibulkova in the yeah. final, but not necessarily everyone remembers that in the third round, you were almost out of here yeah. because you're playing Lucy Safarova, you're down match point, and a Hawkeye replay saved you by what? A couple of inches, right? You were almost out of the tournament. Like five centimeters. Yeah. yeah. I think Hawkeye will save my <laughs> tenth uh, Australia life. Yeah. yeah. What, are, what are your big memories from 2014? Um, always good memory, um, especially when I take the trophy, yeah. I think this is the most uh, beautiful memory for a whole life, mm. yeah. That was one of my questions, what was your most special memory, that yeah. one? Because the year before, in 2013, we were in the finals against Azarenka, and you beat yourself up. You hit yourself with the head, I think, in the racket, then you fell and hit your head on. Yeah. Do you remember hitting yourself in the head? You remember that match? <laughs> <laughs> I remember, yeah, yeah. Um, but I think the match also helped me a lot. Yeah. Even I was lose the match, but make me much stronger. Even I lose the match, but I think I, I think I win a lot for the fans. You know, fans can see uh, this this. Girl, still fighting a lot when she was twice, uh, twice on the court. Yeah, yeah. It's almost like the worst has already happened to you, so now you can fight against anything else, right? Yeah, yeah. You got it all covered. Yeah. In 2011, you won the French Open. Yeah. First uh, Asian, Chinese player certainly to win a major tournament. How much did your life change in China after that? Wow, well, a lot. Like, but I have to say, after French Open, the half year for me is the worst time ever. Because? Because, you know, life was totally changed, but right. nobody tell me what I should do. So, right. so I have zero experience. There are no to, books for that. Yeah, to face to, for tennis, also for the life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We talk a lot about how your winning Grand Slam championships sparked a revolution of tennis in China. Have you seen the effects of that? Have you seen tennis grow in China the way that you hoped that it would? Uh, yes, it is. Right now, so many young players, they will play tennis. Um, but only the problem is, you know, China, they have a very good economy. All, all the sponsors was coming in, but for the player, I think they need even a little bit, not much, a little bit of hard work. I think right now the young player, how to say, they have a very good chance, but they, they didn't try 100%. Hmm. Like if they need something, they should ask for it, maybe next second. Everything was kind of coming. Did things come to the young players there too easily? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. If this problem is only for China or all of the world. No, we have yeah. the problem too sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So you were motivated uh, from the beginning. I know I was a rebel. You you were a rebel too with the Chinese Federation because you were supposed to be playing doubles. Yeah. And you, because that's what they concentrated on because yeah. of the Olympics. But you said, oh, I want to be on my own. Yeah. It worked out pretty well for you. I think doubles court for me is too small. You know, I, I couldn't. <laughs> I don't know. Um, you know, if I was feeling if I play singles, I also play doubles. You have to wait for a long day. And if you win both matches, next day you have to continue again. Um, also, my how do I say my concentration is on singles. So I say, okay, can I only play singles because I'm not interested about doubles. You, uh, you're a mom of two now. Yeah. Uh, your oldest is what three and a half three years and a half. old. 
when you look at what Serena is doing and what Vika is doing, being a mother and continuing to play with the children on tour with them, is that something you could have ever done, do you think? No, never. Really? That would, that would be make me crazy. <laughs> yeah, I, th I think if I was staying at home, take care about these two, already... Enough. Mess, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you don't think you could take both babies and Dennis on the road? No, 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 no. Dennis is staying at home. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can take uh, two children. Come with me. Uh, doesn't matter it's for work or free. for uh, for vacation, but no husband. Is, no. <laughs> so is he still snoring? Uh, you know, no, I don't have to say that. My daughter already. Dad, you are so loud. Can you just quiet, please? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, Monkey kids. What young players uh, do you enjoy watching? I, I've read you say that, that, that you appreciate Naomi Osaka and that, yeah. that uh, you're a fan of hers. Yeah. I really like the way she's hit the ball on the court. And also, I was feeling she's like a cool player. You couldn't see much like information on her face when she, she's on the court. Yeah. Well, listen, uh, just before I let you go, have you thought about what you're going to say in your speech in Newport this summer? Because every time you ever made a speech after you won a tournament, <laughs> you were always very funny. You always had uh, something good to say. Okay, I will, I will start practice on, start now until Newport. Okay, okay, and you'll be ready. Yeah, okay. I'll be ready, I think. I, I, I have a feeling it's going to be a speech <laughs> worth watching. Lee, congratulations Thank on you. making the Hall of Fame. We look forward to being with you Thanks in so Newport much. this summer. Thank you. Lee Na, our newly minted Hall of Famer.